what do you do if you're a man or a woman who has no time to go to the gym but you still want to stay fit at the same time the primary reason i started beer biceps was because i felt like there were too many fitness gurus who promoted the idea of fitness being the center of your life practically speaking you can't make fitness the center of your life you've got a social life you've got a professional life and fitness should just fit in somewhere so if you're someone who doesn't like going to the gym today's videos for you i'm going to cover different scenarios for people who don't want to exercise at all for people who want to exercise at home and even for people who want to go to the gym once or twice a week i've got you covered today with the help of science what's good everybody now before talking about the exercise regimes and protocols that you guys need to follow Let's talk a little bit about the science of your own body. The golden rule of fitness is that the worst thing you can do to your body is keep it completely inactive. Even if you're putting in a minimal 20 minute walk every single day, it's way better than keeping your body at home in front of your TV. Now, the second thing you need to know is that if you want to maximize the results from your exercise regime, you need to combine some form of resistance training with some form of cardio. As for cardio, do anything you enjoy, whether that's swimming or walking or running. But as for resistance training, you need to understand what resistance training is. Now, resistance training is basically something where you're giving your body an external force to work against. Now, this force can be a pair of dumbbells, a barbell, or even your own body weight. You give your muscles something to fight against and your body will respond by making your muscles grow by making your body put on more lean muscle mass. The more lean muscle mass you accumulate on your body, the higher your metabolism gets. And the higher your metabolism gets, the easier it is for you to burn off fat. So your goal through your life should be to put on a little bit of lean muscle mass even if you're a girl and combine that with a little bit of cardio in order to burn fat in the best possible way. Now coming to the actual exercise regimes. I've divided all these regimes into a few levels, starting with level 0, that's for people who keep their body entirely inactive. So if you're someone who doesn't like any form of exercise, unfortunately you need to know that that's a very wrong way to live your life. Your body is meant to be slightly active. But either way for you guys the good news is that 80% of how you look boils down to your diet. So you might not get entirely ripped, but you can look like you're in good shape if you take care of your diet. and what are the rules of diet ha ha pata hai beer bhai sir sugar to apni yes i've already spoken in detail about sugar and dieting in general so if you want to know more check out the bb40 beer bhai sir's challenge but today's video isn't about the diet side of things it's the exercise regimes and protocols you can follow at home so the solution for you is to find caloric outputs in your daily life If you want to burn off fat, your caloric output needs to be more than your caloric input. Your calories out need to be more than your calories in and you will burn off fat. So you keep trying to find opportunities to burn off calories. So whether that's taking the stairs instead of using the elevator or even if it's just walking up to your workplace instead of taking a cab, that's what will make you lose weight in the long term. But if you have some time to invest, you can go to level 2. And for level 2 you need to make a small investment in the form of dumbbells. A lot of people don't want to invest the money in a gym membership and for you the best possible investment is a pair of dumbbells. These dumbbells I bought in 2005 when I was 12 years old. That's 12 years back and I still use them till today. I invested about 1200 rupees in this pair of dumbbells so that's effectively 100 rupees per year and that's not that bad an investment to make from a fitness perspective. Also a great solution if you're not someone who wants to go to the gym. But if you're someone who doesn't have access to dumbbells or if you don't want to invest that money in dumbbells, your next best option is your school bag bag <laughs> uthayega ben chut hey mera dyna ball dena why do i say that because this just like a dumbbell is an external force it's something that your muscles can work against think of this as a fake makeshift dumbbell and yes i am very serious about this now keep in mind when it comes to dumbbells and resistance workouts there's two forms of workouts one are your regular dumbbell workouts with just a pair of dumbbells you can work almost any muscle in your body now i am a fan of free body training or calisthenics training but the truth of the matter is that if you're someone who doesn't want to leave their house for their workout then you can't do too much with just free body training you can't target all your muscle groups especially your arms and your back they can't be worked unless you're using some kind of an external weight and that's why the second kind of workout that you can do at this level 1 
is your free body plus school bag workout. Now keep in mind, I can't get into the details of these workouts in today's video. So think of today's video as an overview. But the good news is that very soon I will be releasing my home workout series for beginners. Where I'll be teaching you everything from the basic form to detailed workouts with how many reps you should be doing, how many sets you should take up. Fitness for the average working person who doesn't have time to go to the gym. But super fast, let's go over level 1 science. You need to understand muscle groups firstly. You have five basic muscle groups, your chest, your back, your legs, your core and your arms. And you need to hit these muscles separately with different movements. So for chest, the best movement to be done at home is your push-up. If you have some kind of a bench setup, then you can take some kind of a pressing movement, but a push-up does the job. As for your back, you want to do a bit of rows either with the dumbbell or with the school bag as I've shown here. As for your legs, you want to do your basic squats and your lunges. For your core, you don't need the equipment. You can just do crunches, sit-ups and leg raises. And for your arms, unfortunately, you do need the dumbbells or that school bag. Keep in mind, in today's video, I'm not going to get into the details of the form. Now, if you're familiar with the form, you can go and do all these exercises, start your home workout straight away. If you want a little help, check out my beginner's workout series. But if you want a detailed version of these plans, just be a little bit patient with me. I am putting it out on beer biceps very soon. Now, keep in mind, staying at level 1 is perfectly fine if you don't have any time or the financial ability to invest in a gym. But if you can afford the time, even if it's once a week, and if you can afford a gym membership, definitely consider buying one. Why do I say that? Because level 2 is gymming only once a week. Once a week gymming gains banani hai ke unsubscribing ja Now some hardcore gymmers might disagree with this protocol of going to the gym only once a week. Because we've been told all our life that if you really want to make gains, you need to spend a lot of time in the gym. Ah, gym, ah, gym. But that isn't entirely true. Now, if you're someone who works out, if you stop your workouts abruptly, your muscle will only start leaving your body two weeks into the process. After you've not given your body any external impulse to grow for two weeks. But if you're someone who only has time to go to the gym once a week, it can make a world of a difference to how you look. So even if you're going to the gym once a week, I highly recommend you go and do a full body workout in the gym and throughout the rest of the week, for the other six days, do a little bit of cardio. Just this protocol can help you burn off fat and put on a little bit of muscle if you watch your diet as well. If you want to know the kind of workout you should be following in that one time that you go to the gym, make sure you check out the BB Summer Full Body Workout I put up on my channel. Ideal for someone who's completely new to the process of gymming but only has time to go once a week, maybe on weekends. Remember, there's nothing like this protocol, especially if you're trying to look great and burn off fat. Now, moving on to level 3, if you're someone who only has time to go to the gym twice a week, there's a few things you need to keep in mind when it comes to this kind of regime. Firstly, keep those five muscle groups in mind. So you want to work your chest, your back, your abs on one day and then take at least a two-day break and then work out your legs and your arms. Remember, you need to take a slight break to give your body some time to grow. Again, if you want to follow this regime, just do about three variations for each body part. Once again, I can't get into the details of the workout in this particular video and in the future, I will be releasing a detailed written version of a workout plan. But the only thing you've got to keep in mind is that give your workouts a bit of a break and try working your entire body in just those two workouts. This kind of regime can give you a lot of benefits in terms of aesthetics if you watch over your diet, obviously. Remember, by giving your body so many days of rest, you're growing optimally. But an even better protocol if aesthetics is your goal is the thrice a week regime. Level 4 calls for 3 workouts in a week. A lot of people, while they're working out in college, it's easy for them to go to the gym. But the moment they start their professional life, it becomes a little bit harder. And for all you folks, I'm in the same boat as you. Since I've begun my career, it's become a little harder for me to make time for the gym. But just going for three weight training sessions in a week can make a huge difference to how you look. Obviously, on the other days, you do want to focus a little bit on your cardio. And throughout the week, you do want to focus on your diet. But this is how you go about your workout in a rough manner. Once again, you start with chest, shoulder, triceps first. You take a day's break, then you move on to back and biceps. Then you take a day's break and you move on to legs and your core. This kind of regime is fantastic for someone in their 20s. Primarily because when you're a teenager, your body's recovery is much faster. You don't need that many rest days. But if you're in your 20s, especially your mid-20s, you need those extra rest days. And that's why something like a 3-day regime will work fantastic for you putting on muscle mass and burning off fat. 
Now, obviously, I can't get into the details of this regime, but if you want to know more about the science of workouts and these regimes in general, I highly recommend you go and check out the Build Muscle playlist on Be Your Biceps. Why do I say that? Because I've spoken about the science of weight training in that particular playlist. And most importantly, you'll be able to design your own plan just with a little help from that regime. Remember, I will be releasing a lot of home workouts very soon on Beer Biceps. So if you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And Ranveer, we'll see you later.